Just adding to an existing batch. So, um, if you know your glaze well enough, then you just add to it. Um, since it's always the same ingredients, uh, even if the, the bucket was completely full, you could just add more if it was really low. Like this is running low, so we're gonna make a batch just to add to it. And it's uh, just gonna make more of the same glaze. Um, so we're doing the same units of measurement as far as like eight to two parts and two parts of, of a, a pacifier. Um, so I have my grid support. I need eight of these. So I'm a little more loose with the opacifier just because if I do more it's not going to hurt it not going to discolor it or anything. Hopefully it has more color, which is white. And then this doesn't take any copper, so then we'll just mix water. Just try and get it full of water. Since I'm gonna mix it anyways, might as well get all this stuff in there. So I like these flexible buckets because when they dry, they just kind of fall off and they go into the middle of the bucket. So I like these flexible ones because then you can peel stuff off the side as you're doing it. This is mason stain. Um, there's every color you can think of mason stain produces. This is uh, just a standard 6600. Um, it's a really good go-to. Uh, for just a nice black. Uh, we add it to the crackle just to give it a color, which is black. But you could do blue, yellow, pink, purple, magenta, whatever color they have, you just substitute the black and give it a different color to make a colored crackle. Uh, yeah.
Nina If you think this video is rad, please don't forget to like and comment and subscribe. Thank, Thank you. you.